Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the GeoGrit Minimalist Wallet. Let's check it out. So this is everything that comes with the GeoGrit Minimalist Wallet. Here's the box and some wallet features on the back, but we'll go over that shortly. There's a sticker, but let's put all this off to the side here and I'll give you guys a nice close up of the GeoGrit Minimalist Wallet in carbon fiber. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. So the GeoGrit wallet is a vertical sandwich style minimalist wallet that's available in six different colors for the aluminum version and a carbon fiber version, which I have right here. It can hold between one to 12 credit cards and some cash folded into quarters. The internal frame is made of 6061 aluminum and because it's made from aluminum, it naturally blocks RFID. It comes with a lifetime warranty and it's entirely made right here in the USA with a company in Mount Dora, Florida. All right, so let's talk dimensions. The GeoGrit wallet comes in at 2.12 inches by 3.38 inches and has a thickness of 0.26 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at exactly two ounces. And once again, I have the carbon fiber wallet here with the money clip. All right, let's discuss the GeoGrit wallet here. So full disclosure, GeoGrit did get a hold of me and wanted me to check this wallet out and make a video talking about my honest opinion and thoughts about their wallet. I do that with all of my wallet reviews anyway, so it was a no brainer. Of course, I said, yes, I will check out your wallet. And I carried this for about a week and a half. And my initial thoughts on the GeoGrit wallet here was it's extremely minimal, it feels very high quality and very, very durable. And looking at this wallet, it almost looks like the Ridge wallet got together with the EOS 3.0 Lite and had a baby. I've done reviews on both the Ridge wallet and the EOS 3.0 Lite. I'll put links down below in my description box so you guys can check those videos out right after this and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But the difference is I think the GeoGrit Minimalist wallet here is a better wallet than the Ridge wallet and the EOS 3.0 Lite. That's just my opinion. So why is that? Well, the Ridge wallet is a horizontal style wallet and the GeoGrit wallet here is a vertical style wallet. And you guys know I'll take vertical over horizontal any day. The EOS 3.0 Lite is a vertical style wallet, but it had those goofy uh, bands that line the wallet up and down the sides, which you can see the GeoGrit doesn't have. It still has the elastic like the Ridge wallet. It opens up a lot easier. It's just a lot better to get your cards in and out of this wallet here. And you can see on the bottom, it has two smaller elastic bands to help keep your cards in. Now let's check out this wallet a little bit closer. So it does have that 6061 aluminum frame on the inside there, and it does wrap around and come across the very top to the front, and it has the GeoGrit logo right there on the top. And the same deal on the back, except it has this little symbol right there on the back. Um, you can see this one has a money clip. It is available with a silicone lined cash strap. I just don't have that version here to show you. Now, of course, I prefer the cash strap, but I can only show you the version that I have here. Now, as far as money clips go, it doesn't have a lot of tension, which is good. I don't like money clips with a ton of tension, but this one almost feels like it needs more. Now, if I give you a side profile shot here, you can see just how high that money clip raises, and that's gonna have a lot to do with just how much cash this money clip can hold. And then right there on the bottom of the money clip, it does say made in the USA. Yes, this is entirely made in the USA, Mount Dora, Florida. And that's a big difference between this and the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a USA based company. Their wallets are shipped off to China and made there. But I don't think that's news to anybody. I've talked about that many times in my videos in the past. So once again, that's just another point for the GeoGrit wallet here. Now it's available in aluminum models and the carbon fiber model that I have right here. The aluminum version, you can get in six different colors. And as of right now, just the 3K weave carbon fiber is available for the carbon fiber version. And you can see that carbon fiber plate is screwed on to that aluminum frame right here with 10 stainless steel screws right there on both the front and another 10 on the back. Now, unfortunately, GeoGrit does not give you a screwdriver. I kind of wish they did give you a screwdriver with this wallet just in case you had to get in there and replace the elastic. And I also checked the GeoGrit website. They do not offer replacement elastic yet. So hopefully they get on that because as you guys know, elastic, anything can happen here. It can fray, it can tear, it can break. Even though I've literally never had that happen yet, 
you just never know. Things happen when they're in your pocket. Maybe um, it gets caught on some keys and tears. Regardless, you guys definitely need to get some replacement elastic on your website. Now this can hold between one to 12 credit cards and you can see on the front plate, there's a fairly large thumb cutout right here just so it's really easy to swipe through your cards once they're in there. And another plus in my book, yes it does have that inward beveled edge and if you guys have had a wallet like this in the past or currently, you're gonna know that makes it very easy to insert your cards into the wallet. So overall, I'm a big fan of the styling and the materials used in this wallet. Like I said before, it just feels high quality. It feels very, very durable. And I love the vertical style of the GeoGrit wallet here. Now let's get to the card test. They say it can hold between one to 12 credit cards. I have 11 flat cards here one raised number card and yes you can get all the cards in here at once just pry apart those plates like that insert all 12 and there you go and just like any other minimalist wallet that's held together with elastic bands i'm sure you can get more cards in here it's just the nature of elastic it'll stretch but once you start doing that, you start lowering the life of your elastic, just puts too much stress on the elastic. So I always suggest just the maximum if you need to carry 12 cards, but most likely if you're buying a minimalist wallet like this, you're not gonna be carrying this many cards anyways. And now you can see just how small the GeoGrit wallet here is. It's exactly the same size as these credit cards. And I love these two elastic bands on the bottom that help stop the cards from pushing through the very bottom there. So I absolutely love that. And swiping through your cards here is a breeze with this fairly large cutout right there on the bottom. You put your most used credit card right there on the top. Insert super easy because of those inward beveled edges right there. Very functional, I like it. Or if you're not a fan of swiping through your cards like that, this large cutout on the bottom makes it very easy to push up the whole stack and then do the fan method. You can see that's extremely easy to do with this wallet as well. Nice. But now let's test out this money clip here on the back. I got seven American dollar bills right here. And yes, you do have to fold your bills into quarters, lift it up and hmm. Okay, so there's seven focus. There's seven American dollar bills right there. And you can see it's filling out that money clip fairly well. So let's add another five. Fold it into quarters and now it's getting fairly thick here. And yeah, I think that's pushing it too much. So you guys can see, I'm gonna stretch the heck out of that money clip. All right, so I would say eight or nine bills would be the maximum folded into quarters. Now, of course, you guys can fold your bills in half if you wanted to, but you can see bills are just gonna hang out over the sides there, or you can fold your bills into thirds. I'm not the biggest fan of folding bills into thirds, but if you guys wanted to, the goofy way of doing this, you can see if you fold your bills into thirds, that money clip will handle that cash just a little bit better. So if you guys are cash carriers, Eight to nine bills folded into quarters, I would say would be the maximum. Or just get the cash strap. Usually with the uh, cash strap, you can just pile and pile bills right on top of each other and not have any issues at all. All right, so what are my final thoughts here on the GeoGrit wallet? If you guys saw my unboxing of the GeoGrit wallet, the title was Ridge Wallet Killer? Question mark. And Honestly, this does have the potential to be a Ridge Wallet killer. And honestly, I do like this a little bit more than the Ridge Wallet for a few reasons. Reason number one, I like the vertical style over the horizontal style. And reason number two, this is entirely made right here in the USA. And reason number three, this carbon fiber version right here is $120 versus the Ridge's $140 for the same 3K weave carbon fiber. And I'm talking retail prices, guys. I'm not talking about if anything goes on sale. I'm talking 140 versus 120 retail. And their aluminum wallet is priced at 95 bucks, which is exactly what the Ridge charges for their aluminum wallet. But once again, guys, remember, USA made. Now it's not exactly perfect either, so let's talk about some of the negatives here. So one negative is I wish it came with a screwdriver just so I can easily take off this top plate and replace this elastic if I need it. And another negative is GeoGrit is a fairly new company and 
The choices of colors and materials are quite limited still. Meaning if you want a carbon fiber, this is the only choice you got. If you want aluminum, there are six colors available and no titanium model at all. I would love to see this in some sort of stonewashed titanium or a black gunmetal style titanium. Let's make that happen, GeoGrit. Also, I would love to see some kind of shredded carbon fiber model. Once again, I know they're a newer company, so that is sort of a negative, but that could change over time once they start releasing different styles and different materials. But that's basically it for the negatives, guys. There's a lot to like about the GeoGrit here. Made in the USA, lifetime warranty, very durable, very high quality, um, extremely minimal, and extremely functional. This is a winner. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the GeoGrit Minimalist Wallet? Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!